What's going on everybody? It's Farrah Black. I'm bringing you another review. This time is of the Batman Arkham Origins Firefly figure. Um, this figure, you know, it's a DC Collectibles figure. Uh, pretty basic packaging. Um, I don't think it's one of the most anticipated figures, but um, uh, it's pretty nice. I like this part in the game. You know, the game was pretty pretty intense in my opinion. So, you know, I went ahead and got him nice looking and everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this clamshell and see if I like this figure a lot. Okay, here's the figure out of the package. And um, I must say it's very detailed. Um, his suit is a black with like a lighter grayish, whitish wash over it. Um, the um, canisters are all painted. The grenades are painted, uh, nice metallic yellow over the uh, visor. You know, it's a lot of detail. Mostly black and yellow, but there's a, a, a lot of detail on this figure. Um, as far as his articulation goes, he virtually has no head articulation. And that's mainly because of the way this is, you know, sculpted and set up. Um, his arms go out to the side, no problem. He has a swivel elbow as well as elbow hand, so and he has a uh, swivel wrist. Um, no body articulation, none of this moves. I think that's due mostly to sculpt. Uh, his legs are able to go outward about there and uh, they're able to go up. So pretty decent. And uh, he has a single hinged knee with no articulation at the legs. And I think that's due to him standing up and holding on to his accessories. Now, his accessories include flame gun, flame thrower, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there are two holes in the back, right on top of each other, resemble a snowman. Uh, this just plugs right in, like so. Now, it's not really, really sturdy, but if you put the gun into his hand it becomes quite sturdy. I also like to note he has no trigger finger. I don't like that at all. No trigger finger for him to you know, I mean it's kinda crazy. But he does hold the weapon. Um let's see, other hand is sculpted like this. So let's see if we can actually get him to hold this thing I guess, but he doesn't turn his head, so it's kind of like useless. I don't know. I still like it overall. Um, he also comes with a set of wings that are, I still have them in the tray. So I'm going to remove these. And I turn them over, and the slots on the back is where the wings go. Just plug them in. Let's get this one in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. And um, they're nice. Turbines and the um, thrusters on the back. Nice gunmetal look to him with the cautionary stickers and whatnot. It's pretty much how he's gonna look. So I, I mean, I think he's pretty decent, you know, especially you know for a game model and everything. I I can see myself doing some pretty good ACBA with him, having a little bit of fun with this figure. Um, would I recommend it? 
if you do not play the video game, if you don't care anything about the Batman video game characters or the video game rogues, then I mean, I can see why you would pass on the figure. I don't think there's any need, but other than that, if you like this and this is a cool design to you and everything, I say go for it. With that being said, this is Feral Black, and as always, peace and love. That's crispy.